Good morning, morning Saints. Saints. <laughs> today is Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. Happy birthday today to Austin Turner. The Saint of, day is, the, Saint of, to, of the day today is St. Wenceslas. More than just a name in a Christmas carol, Wenceslas managed to rule with a clear vision of what Christian leader should be. Many opposed him during his reign, and his brother eventually betrayed and killed him. But he continued to hold the faith and is hailed today as an outstanding king in Eastern Europe. The boys' varsity soccer team downed Blue Valley North last night 4-0 to zero in the Andrew Seeger and George Giuliano shout-out. Ethan Young, Cooper Welsh, Max Liker, and Liam Ryan scored the goals. Don't miss the boys' senior night this Tuesday night at 7. Are you interested in a great adventure and helping those who need our help the most? Well, Teens for Life National March for Life in D.C., is just that adventure. We will spend four days in Washington, D.C. exploring the sites and meeting with other pro-life supporters in an effort to see the, for ourselves the value of life and the freedoms we have in this great country. Sign-ups are this week in Mrs. Lofen's room, room 124. We have quite a few spots left, so embrace the moment and sign up. You will need to fill out a registration form and make a monetary deposit to reserve your spot. Ask anyone who has been. It's a great adventure. Another good time, Teens for Life is having a game night this Thursday evening after conferences from 8 to 9.30 p.m. in the main gym. We'll have cornhole, spike ball, foursquare, and more. Trivia, snacks, and prizes for the winners. $5 admission and free for all members. All ST students are welcome, and Teens for Life also has other service hour opportunities too. This Saturday, October 1st, is the first Saturday Mass. Prayer and breakfast starting at 8.15 at the Nativity Church. Three hours of service. Be there. And Sunday is the National Life Chain Prayer. October 2nd, 1.30 to 2.30 at the southwest corner of 95th and Neiman. This prayer is an activity bringing awareness to abortion in our midst. Come pray with us for just one hour. Come and join as we stand up for life for the most vulnerable. For any additional information about these events, please see Miss Lofman, Mr. Bess, or Miss Jones. On Thursday, there will be an afternoon study hall in detention. Both study hall and detention will begin at 1210. There will be no mass, adoration, or confession this week. The K-State Women in Business Career Summit is November 7th. It is open to any senior girls interested in going to K-State who are going to, into business or are undecided. If you would like to sign up or have more information, please see Mrs. Denegri in room 225 or email her at cdenegri at stasaints.net. There will be scholarship opportunities for those who attend. Hey Saints, since you have a three and a half day weekend coming up, this is a great time to get started on your service hours. A great place to do this is at the Catholic Charities Turnstiles on 135th, just east of Corvira. Just show up, no training necessary. Get some fun, easy service hours in during this long weekend at Turnstiles. For prospective girls swim and dive team members, please join. feel free to join the current voluntary pro swim and dive conditioning program. We currently meet Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 4.30 to 5.15 p.m. If you would like to gain strength prior to the season, please meet in the weight room wearing workout clothes and athletic shoes. Seniors, if you are interested in going to Rome, please fill out the Google form sent to you by Mr. Blaze by Friday. Stop by Mr. Blaze's office if you want to hear more about the trip. And on the menu today in the Saints Cafe, breakfast for lunch. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the word of the day. Today's word is kerfuffle. Kerfuffle means disturbance or fuss typically caused by a dispute or conflict. Saints, let's not make a kerfuffle out of any of your classes today. And here is your Hispanic Heritage Month fun fact. Did you know that the observation began in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon B. Johnson? and was expanded by President Ronald Reagan in 1998 to cover a 30-day period. Wow, I just did not know that. Thank you for watching, watching the, the Halo Morning, morning Show. show. We'll, we'll be back, back with, with more, more for you tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm Emily. And I'm Isaac. <laughs> Signing off. Remember, stay classy, saints, and embrace the moment. moment.